King James Bible. Hopefully you guys can hear this. King James Bible. The book of the prophet Isaiah. Chapter 64. Oh that, oh that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence, as when the melting fire burneth. The fire causeth the waters to boil, to make thy name known to thine adversaries, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. When thou didst terrible things, which we looked not for, thou camest down, the mountains flowed down at thy presence. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither hath the eye seen. O God beside me, what hath he prepared for him that waiteth for him? Thou meetest him that rejoiceth and worketh righteousness, those that remember thee in thy ways. Behold, thou art wroth, for we have sinned in those in those incontinence, and we shall be saved. But we are all as unclean thing, and all our unrighteous all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we do all fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away, and there is none that calleth upon the name that thy name that stirreth up himself to take hold of thee, for thou hast hid thy face from us, and hast consumed us because of our iniquities. But now, O Lord, thou art our Father, we are thy, we are the clay that thou, and thou art potter, and we are the work of thy hand. Be not wroth, be not wroth very sore, O Lord, neither remember iniquity forever. Behold, see, we beseech thee, we are all thy people. The holy cities are a wilderness, Zion is a wilderness. Jerusalem a desolation, our holy land and our beautiful house, where our Father praised thee, is burned up with fire, and our pleasant things are laid waste. Wilt thou refrain thyself from these things, O Lord? Wilt thou hold thy peace and afflict us very sore? Chapter sixty-five. I am sought of them that. Uh, I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me, unto a nation that is not called by my name. I have spread out my hands all the day unto the rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good, after their own thoughts. All a people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face, that sacrifices in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves and lodge in the mountains, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things, is in their vessels, which say, Stand by thyself, come not, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. They, these are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore will I... measure their former worth into their bosom. Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, Destroy it not. For our blessing is is in it, so will I do for my servants' sake, that I may not destroy them all, and will bring forth a seed out of Jacob, and out of Judah, and an inheritor of my mountains. And mine elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks, and a valley of Achor, a place for the herds to lie down in, for my people that have sought me. But ye are the... But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for the, that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore will I number ye to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called ye, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse 
unto my chosen, for the Lord God shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name, that he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth, and he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by God of truth, because the former troubles are forgotten, and because they are hid from mine eyes. Behold, For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mine. But be, but be ye glad and rejoice for ever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem, a rejoicing in her people with joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem for joy in my people, and a voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more offense an infant of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For the child shall die a hundred years old, but the sinner being a hundred year old shall be accursed. And he shall build houses and inhabit them, and he shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit, they shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands, they shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth the trouble that they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call I will answer, and will while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and the dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains, saith the Lord. Chapter 66 Thus saith the Lord, The heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me, and where is the, is the place of my rest? For all those things hath mine hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord. For, <clears throat> But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor, of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. He that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrificeth a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offereth an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delighteth in their abominations. I also will choose their delusions, and will bring their fears upon them, because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes, and chose that which I delighted not. Hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at his word, your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake. Let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. A voice of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, a voice of the Lord that rendeth, rendereth recompense to his enemies. Before she travailed, she brought forth, before her pains came, she was delivered of a man-child. Who hath heard of such thing? Who hath seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day, or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the birth, and not cause to bring forth, saith the Lord? Shall I cause to bring forth, and shut the womb, saith thy God? Rejoice ye with Jerusalem, and be glad with her, all ye that love her. Rejoice for joy with her, all ye that mourn for her, that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breasts of her consolations, that ye may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, ye shall be born unto their sides, and be dangled upon her knees. As one, as one whom his mother comforteth, so will I comfort you. Ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like a herb. And the hand of the Lord shall be known toward his servants, and his indignation toward his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For, the f for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens, behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh, and the abomination and the mouse, shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. For I know their works and their thoughts, it shall come, that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory, and I will set a sign among them, and I will send those that escape to them unto the nations, to Tarshish, 
purple and mud that draw the bow of Tubal and Javan to the isles afar off that have not heard my fame. Neither have they seen my glory, and they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles. And you shall bring all your brethren for an offering unto the Lord out of the nations upon horses and in chariots and in litters and upon mules and upon swift beasts to my holy mountain Jerusalem, saith the Lord. As the children of Israel bring an offering and a clean vessel unto the house of the Lord, and I will also take of them for a priest and for Levite, saith the Lord. For as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, saith the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me, for their worms shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be abhorring unto all flesh. 